Hey, what's up, everyone? Mike Vivolo for ESNY right here at Madison Square Garden tonight. It's the Garden of Laughs. It's the Garden of Dreams special comedy night. Um, we at ESNY hit the red carpet. We're on the scene all the time. But tonight, we have a very special guest to join us. His name is Joe Rubeck, but people may know him as the license plate guy. Welcome, Joe. How are you, man? I'm awesome. How Thank are you? Thank you for coming out, man. Um, I we just got Golden Tate. Yep. Golden Tate, to me, is like... A mirror image of Victor Cruz. He's about as solid as they come. Solid as He's they come. He's a solid wide receiver. Uh, amazing pass catcher, yep. route runner. Blocker. Uh, blocker. Yep. Uh, you know, plays the edge w uh, outside when he needs to. Um, so it's interesting. Uh, I think I want to talk to Cruz about that, too. What he yeah, thinks no about doubt. the Golden Tate. Do, yeah. What do you think? Do you see a lot of Golden Cruz and Golden Tate? I, I think or vice versa? No, I see uh, Golden <laughs> Tate and Golden okay, Tate. Yeah, but, right. uh, Politically correct no, answer. Just, but uh, to be honest with you, he is a solid replacement for somebody we lost. <laughs> player, no names. Player that will remain nameless. No names. Yeah. Um, but, uh, you know, there's only one Odell, mm. so that's kind of sucky. But. Oh, this has been one of the most bizarre, say, last six weeks in Giants, pretty much Giants history, in off Giants offseason history. Would you, oh, would, yes. you, would you agree? Yes, this has been mind-boggling, to be honest with you. I mean, if you're a Giants fan, you have no idea right now of the direction the team is going in. Um, however, Gettleman has a plan. We might not know what that plan is, but he has a plan. I don't know what, I don't know what, you know, I can't for the life of me figure out why you wouldn't have just tag Collins, at least for the year. And if you're, you're not going to pay him that money, then you trade him this coming year. Okay. Um, I would have liked to have seen the Giants get one more draft pick for the Odell trade. However, the Giants got a lot. If you really think about it, they got two first rounders. If you count Peppers, Peppers okay. right, if you yeah. count them. So, you know, in the end... Did they do the right thing? I guess I guess time will tell. I don't like it. Tell me really. about the day, yeah. the, the moment, the hour of that right, in, so in your life. We were arguing the, the couple of days before it happened, and I was like, of course you're going to be tagged. Don't even be – it's not even an option. So you were with him? I was with him a couple of days leading up, not okay. the day of. Okay, and, okay. And we literally argued about being tagged, and he goes, no, nah, I really don't think so. I'm like, you don't know what you're talking about. I'm telling him he doesn't know what he's talking about. And he's like, no, I just got that feeling the last couple of days – wasn't even looked at by some of the management in the building. So I was like, oh, maybe they just looked at, like, look, like pass, in pass, the eye, you're saying? By. Like, yeah, just passed them by in the weight room and this and that. I was like, still don't know what you're talking about. They're going to tag you. It would, be, it would be ridiculous not to tag you. Even for that 11, what, 11.2? 11 right. You tag them anyway, and you, you figure it out afterwards. And in hindsight, what he got, it was well worth the tag. Truthfully, right. he got blown out of the water <laughs> yeah, by the Redskins. He, he did. He, he did. would never see that money for no, the Giants. He wouldn't. So, so good for him and good for the Giants for not, yeah, yeah. you know, having all that money built up in one player. That. And what happened at the moment when you found out? Like so, the day you so he, you know, like everybody else, you know, social media runs today's world. Mm -hmm. And I found you just re out. Refresh and I, Twitter as much as you. Refresh, refresh, refresh. And I couldn't believe it. And, you know, I called him and he goes, like, what, what can you believe? I, I told you. And, you know, I'll never tell a player that he's wrong again, by the way. But, but <laughs> he was right. I, that's it. It was just, it was just, it was hurtful. So, but, you know, like I always say on my social media, and I can't get wrapped up with just one player, next man up. True. Now, and that next man up is, o is Odell. <laughs> yeah. So next yeah. man after that, you know. Man. I think Gettleman's character guy t type of rebuild that he's doing, oh, that, was an that was obvious. The Odell move made more sense than Landon Collins because, you know, he was a great character guy, great locker room guy. So I'm, a ter I'm a terrible – to sit here and, and chat with you about this, I'm, <laughs> I'm terrible right because, right, not I'm, the a, most objective I'm a guy. homer, <laughs> right? I'm t completely not objective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm like, but I that's want what, all of these guys that's to That's what ESNY is all about. We're, you know, the hardcore fans, the diehards – uh, that give it, you know, tell it like it is for the fans, by the fans. Hanging out with license plate guy Joe Rubeck. Big night ahead of us, man. Thank you. No doubt. Thank you. So we're a couple weeks away. Thursday, April 25th is the big day. Two first rounders for the G-Men. Maybe. Maybe. As of now. Maybe. 12 Maybe. overall picks still. Yep. Definitely not 12. Definitely not going to end with 12. 100% not 100% not going to end with 12. No way. Uh, what is, first of all, what, do you, what, do, what would you like to see, first of all? Uh, listen, uh, you know, I'm a huge Eli fan. But eventually, I mean, how many times you get to pick, you know, this close to the draft? Last year, I wanted a quarterback. Right. No offense to <laughs> Barkley. He's a god around here yeah, yeah. and an incredible player. That worked player, out. That worked out. You think? <laughs> um, but I also don't want to waste, you know, the rest of his time here. And if that means moving on to a quarterback, Giants are going to have to do something eventually. This year, next year, with that said, 
We're going defense, number six. <laughs> <laughs> okay. In love with Devin White. Okay. He would be a game changer. He'd be a Khalil Mack to me. Okay. To me. If he drops the six now. Which I don't think he will. <laughs> exactly. Um, how about uh, Josh Allen? Okay, same thing. He won't drop the he six. He won't drop the six either. How about uh, Bosa? Oh, no, he's not going to. Won't drop the so six. How about the D tackle? Alabama. Williams. Monster. Matter of fact, I'd go him over a QB. Okay. I At really six. would. He if we won't don't be, move. He won't be there. <laughs> so literally, I took so him to the top yeah, five. Already. So we're going to go Kyler and then the four, def yeah, the four yeah, defensive players. I yeah. literally just gave you, which means all the picks I just said and all the picks that I'm in love with, do the Giants just say, okay, that's it, they all went, and you take your Haskins or not? It's fun to think about having 12 picks, playing – poker with these 12 Absolutely. picks. Moving them around. You have 17, which was just, I'm not gifted. I, I mean, obviously had to get rid of Beckham for that. But that's a that's a nice chip to have to package with a, late, uh, a couple late rounders to move Co up. Correct. Would you give that 17 away for Rosen? No. I would Neither not. would I'm I. On, I'm on the record would that Would you give Rosen's 37 away for Rosen? I would, 36, I, would 37, I, would have, I would have to think about it. No, I wouldn't. I'd you give wouldn't. it away. You would give it away uh, for yep, Rosen? For yeah, Rosen, yeah. 100%. It's not like you wanted a quarterback to immediately replace Eli. I don't want that quarterback. Right? I don't want Get that guy, right now. Get a guy, a prospect. Exactly. And maybe maybe have him figure it out and groom him and not have that. I mean, I mean is that not what we're trying to do this year? Rookie quarterbacks, exactly. Well, we tried a couple times. Well, you know, you <laughs> can't tried. go find your – We tried with Lada. We tried with no, Lada. You can't find your – your replacement in the later rounds and think that that is going to be the guy. You're going to find the you, diamond in the rough, yeah. If the, if we found that, awesome. But you can't assume that. It's just like people are saying, okay, do you pick that defensive player at six and then go and try and get a quarterback at 17? And I'm telling like you Jones right now. Jones is there at 17 type of thing? Oh, my God. Did, would that drive the fan base absolutely oh bananas? God, He's good. not so bad, by the way. Yeah, but no. but if, you, <laughs> if you say that you're going to get the franchise at 17, you're going to get a million people that are going to jump on board. If you want your guy and you have your guy in your sights, then go, give go up your him. picks and go, go get him. him.